on Facebook, Robin asked me if there was a way to recreate this look right here, which looks to me like some kind of a satin stitch lettering with what I'm guessing is a triple stitch around the outside of the letter. So let's see if we can do that. I'm going to go over first. I'm in Premiere Plus 2 Embroidery, and I am going to be working in Premiere Plus 2. This tool that I'm going to use was added in Premiere Plus 2. I'm going to go to the Letter tab, and I poked around for a second, and under the Modern category, I found Rian 10 to 30. And I'm just going to type my name in all caps. I'm going to bring it in at 30 millimeters, which is a little over an inch. I could probably do it a little bit smaller, but I want it to be large enough that there's something to outline with, with stitching. I'm going to click the green check mark to bring in that lettering. I really like this font because it's got some nice curves to it and some characters, so it's one I've used several times. Then I'm going to go to the Home tab and click Copy to put it on my clipboard. Now I'm going to pop over to the Modify module. And in Modify, I'm going to click Paste. So Modify is the module where we can work at the stitch level, but it also has some really strong border tools. So it's asking here if I paste it in, it's going to turn it into stitches rather than lettering that I could edit. That's fine because I want to use a tool over here, so I have to do it. So I'm going to click Yes. Then I'm going to go to the Border tab. And the tool I'm going to use here is the Border Embroidery tool. So when you click border embroidery, notice it looks for spacing. If I run this number up, it looks for spacing outside lettering. So it's a nice way to add an outline. But I'm going to take that all the way down to zero, which is going to put the, the lines it creates, or the stitches it creates, right next to my existing stitches. I'm also going to use a triple stitch. I'm going to click the Options button. And I want the stitch length to be fairly short because it's got some curves in it. And the longer that stitch length, the harder it's going to be to follow those curves smoothly. So I'm going to keep it at that default of two millimeters. Click OK. Then I'm going to click Create Overlay Border. Then I'm going to go into Live View and zoom in so I can see the design. I'll see it came in and created those triple stitches around the outside of those satin stitches. So that new border embroidery tool has really made it easy to add stitches around lettering or a design. I'd love to see what you come up with.